It's Big Post Talisman, Heavy Gibdo Sword, Ruto's Earring, Gibdo Bandage, and Monster Teeth. You can now play as Ruto! Silver Scales, an amulet of the Zora people imbued with the power of water. Each combo attack fills a water gauge. Huh. Cool. I can now play as Ruto. She's going to be level 1 and completely useless to me. I will try her out and I'll show her out in battle at some point. I'll, she'll be required to use at some point or another. Let's see. Yep, there she is. I knew she... Well, I didn't know, but I figured she was the one who was over here that I didn't have yet. Well, I can't burn down any trees, so it's pointless using that there. I do have a water bomb, so I can try this. Yep, figured. I could have tried without, but I wanted to be sure. I don't like wasting my items. Unlocked a new reward, so with this I could play as Fi. I could play this one as Sheik. I don't even have the thing for it, though. And I do not even... Yeah, I don't have anything for that. This one requires Zelda. I don't have the uh, bracelet. I think this would require a torch, which, well, flame, which I don't have. You know what? I'm going into... Guys, let's play this one as our newly obtained Princess Ruto. Oh, she's level 19 to begin with. I was mistaken. So let's see what she requires to upgrade her, since I've never even touched this character before. Gibdo bandages. Essence of... Well, yeah, I want all the combo attacks, so it makes sense getting that. Redead bandages. Shield moblin helmets. This seems pretty generic thus far. Darunia spikes. Ah, I'm gonna have to face off against Darunia and get his gold one to actually fully upgrade things. Shield moblin helmet. Yeah, that's about what I was figuring. Lazolfo scale, so it's pretty much all different kinds of enemies. She's actually a really interesting character. She needs one of everything, pretty much. Except for Darunia. She needs a lot of those Darunia things. Everyone has their one character that they are apparently completely against ever working with. And her is Darunia. Which makes sense. He did kidnap her and whatnot. You know, hypnosis and whatnot. And if you didn't watch the series, the problem, what are you doing watching this video? <laughs> um... Potions twice in one battle. I'll do that. Nullifies the first knockback. Mm, let's see. Water element recommended stages. That's all I ever play her as. I don't really care about damage at this point. What I do care about is... Mm, I like diminishing weak point gauges. Let's do this. Yeah. Alright. I will do a training dojo session with her. Let's get her up to level 24. It's lower than what I normally have, but you know, I don't have any more money. And since I'm mentioning this anyway, why not just use some materials? Let's do 75 of these. There we go. All balanced out among those two. I just the reason I'm not using my monster teeth is because I'm trying to get 999 of those so I can get a uh, achievement. Well, not achievement, but whatever it's called in this metal. All right, guys. So since I don't think we have, I officially actually said it. Welcome back to Hyrule Warriors Adventure Map. In the last episode, we weren't that energetic and I apologize for that I was I don't know I I really apologize guys I still don't really want to go into the thing I was talking about before but let's just say some crappy things happened that week and I'm not really you know happy I was kind of depressed for a bit and things are how they are I'd rather not depress you guys for like this uh, all the same, I'll try to keep the good talk up and whatnot and try to be energetic from now on. It's kind of late at night, but all the same, I'm kind of energetic. I don't know. 
While inside keeps the fairies, your warrior and your warrior's arrows will continually take damage. To avoid this, you will have to rescue elemental fairies by capturing the. I think I already read this before. I don't. I don't know. I. I think I did though. So I've time to defeat 500 enemies because you know this is the most. Really? Uh, they. They gave me this many enemies in one place. I can just knock out that many enemies in one go. Oh wow, well, she's actually useful. She's like a lane clear. I, I've been playing too much Smite recently, by the way. For anyone who's wondering why I'd say lane clear, I the only MOBA I've ever played is Smite and a little bit of League of Legends, and they're fun. Only games I'd ever play with friends, but they're fun. I mean, you know, I'm not that big of a MOBA player. I'm sorry for anyone who's really into them. Oh hey, Ruto, uh, I, uh, I've never seen you before. It's alright, Ruto. We can be perfectly good friends. See, I'll even give you a bunch of water to swim in. Kind of wave. Seriously. Why would that even hurt her? Ah. Uh -huh. And once again, that doesn't make sense, but whatever. Another uh, Cyclone for you. Taking off more of your health. Defeat to ruin ya. Wait, Goma. Hi there. I guess I'll attack you then. I'm not that into her for some of her attacks. Like she, she is good. Like small guy damage, but from the looks of things, she's not gonna be useful against the big bosses. Unless I'm just not playing her correctly, which is perfectly possible. There we go, another cyclone. Well, not a cyclone, I just kind of fly up. Forgot, this is Goma, you always have to attack the eye. Ow! Uh-huh. Hey, Darunia, I heard you had some transport troops over here. Mind if I kill one? Thank you. Stop transitioning between. Oh my gosh, I just realized how well I am. That could have been really bad. How did I take so much damage? There we go. Take that, Goma. And that apparently. Okay, Ruto, I need to finish you. So it's been almost 500 minutes, and I'm not even close. You bosses are distracting me. Ow. Ow, Goma hurts! I don't remember Goma being even nearly that powerful before.
Come on. Bunch of water play. Again. And let's finish off Goma. There we go. Now that we finished off Goma, let's just kill all these guys. But yeah, seriously, I've not been having the greatest time. Sorry about kind of blinking out there and focusing purely on the game. But I've not been having the greatest time. And while I haven't been having the greatest time, I still love doing these too much to take a, like, serious break. I'm just, honestly, I love these. They're just so much fun to do, and I want to do more. I actually plan on streaming some of my childhood favorite games today, but it just didn't end up turning out well. Well, not really turning out well so much as just... I don't know. Sorry, I kind of blanked there for a moment when I was reading that. Uh, it's not that it didn't turn out well so much as it just... I don't know. I, I started having second thoughts about it, and I started realizing that quite a few of my stuff wasn't working. I just didn't want to stress myself out. So I just went through and played all the games casually. Well, one of the games, really, for three hours, four hours. And honestly, I had such a good time. I The game I played is Mega Man Legends, my all-time favorite game, if you didn't know already. Mega Man Legends, honestly, in my piece, is so freaking good. It's just, I don't know, fun, creative, a good both a 3D platformer, well not really 3D platformer, but 3D adventure game, I guess is what I'd call it. Oh, I didn't need it. There we go. Ow. Seriously, some of them are just... Yeah, I'm not gonna get an A rank on this. I already know. I'm not powerful enough not to take a lot of damage. I don't have anything I need. I haven't fought Daruni, like, at all. Okay, guys. Let's just... I'm gonna kill a bunch of them. Knock you all down. Out. Ow. You know what? Just gonna kill some more guys over here. Totally ignore that. Didn't just take all that damage. I'm not just screaming internally at the pain. Did I just catch like 10 people? I guess that would be enough. I mean, I just won technically, but man, was that bad. But yeah, back to what I was saying before. Before, I don't know, I guess I'm kind of getting distracted here. I don't even know what's going on in my head. Mega Man Legends is my favorite game. It just is. It holds a deep place in my heart. I've beaten that game at least 30 times. I don't know an actual count, but I played that game so much in my childhood. I knew it as Mega Man 64, because I had it for the 64, but my friend had it for Legends, which was the first time I ever played it. For Legends? For PS1, when it was known as Legends. And honestly, the PS1 version's better. <laughs> Just saying. The controls are better, the graphics are better, the sound is better. The PS1 just was m more capable because it was a disc instead of a cartridge. Uh, let's get rid of that. As well as... Uh, that. Yeah, that's enough. 11,000 more rupees, Stall Master Wrist Bone, Monster Teeth. I didn't get the thing I'm looking for. I'll show that off, like, at the end of the episode or something, once I've leveled up Ruto even higher. But I gained access to this up here, which is Ruto again. 
all attacks are devastating. Let's do it, guys. There's no point in not to, because, you know, she's the, the gonna deal max damage anyway. Sure, why not? Why not use this? There's no reason not to. When C opened a portal to sky off the fabled city in the sky, she never intended to give the hero both a weapon and an ally at the same time, yet this came to pass. Vi, the spirit that inhabits the goddess sword, is an unusual being, gifted with acute analytical senses and lengthy battle-related knowledge. Vi proves herself vital to any conflict. Despite being a sword and a literal weapon, Vi possesses amazing grace and dancing ability. Watching her dance in the face of her enemies is a truly mesmerizing sight to behold. I feel like I've read that before, but I'm still keeping that in because I want to. <laughs> uh, oh, that's fun. Got them in the ball. Spun him around. Oh, that's, sat that's satisfying. Honestly, something satisfying playing a character you haven't played before. And them just doing this power, like much damage. I know it's not her that's actually doing this much. It's the mission. But it's just, it's fun. 43 with that one. I, I can see her potential from doing these missions, I think. I can see how much damage she can potentially do. And just use her freely. So long as I don't get hit, that is. If I get hit, then I realize how flimsy she can be. Oh, actually, now that I think about it, raise my SP by one. I'm going to say this now. They cannot get through that. That wall of water is too powerful. More fire waffles. Reinforcements have arrived. Ow. So I just lost this, guys. I'm gonna have to replay this. Crap. I should have expected the fireball thing. Oh, no, I'm gonna get back to the same point. Alright, guys, we're back. And not only are we back, but I'm pulling them into a cyclone because why can't? Why not? I mean, I have that right, right? Not gonna give them any chances. What do you drop? Ah, nice, SP. So with that, I think I've got this, guys. Can you appreciate my talent? Well, with like nine of them over here, I should be able to do this. I mean, I'm over halfway done, I'm after all. Um, but yeah, I just have to be careful about any of them getting behind me or shooting fireballs at me. Because since I can do ranged weapons, of course, they can do ranged attacks as well. So much freaking water. Five enemies remaining. Alright. Come on. Suck them in. Hopefully I got two of them. It looks like I only got one. Come on. Please count the person on the right. I don't think it counted either of them. Still hit that guy. On. All right, mission successful. Got them all. Defeat all the enemies, captains. <laughs> it's time for me to take my leave. Somebody carry me. Uh, of course you'd say that, Ruto. I like how she kind of just like swims over the land. That's pretty cool in my opinion. All right. And just like that, heart container. First one for Ruto, right there. Memorable in episode eight, not nine.
I want to say this is episode 9 of Adventure Map. Kind of wonder why there's water under her, though. I mean, it makes sense that she'd be using ability to... Whatever, I'm not even going to question it. <laughs> there we go. Just... Oh, is that how that works? She, like, summons water under the land? Is that how she stays hydrated? <laughs> Alright. Well, Ruto... I have a weird mixed feeling with Ruto. I like Ruto as a character in that she's cool design, and the thought of, like, like the Zora people is cool, and that there being a, like, snotty princess is actually a cool thing. I grew up playing Ocarina of Time, and when I started thinking about it, she's a bit creepy. She immediately, like, says, you're gonna marry her no matter what, and she kind of stalks you when you're, not really stalks, I guess that's not a good way of putting it, but is really attached to you when you're an adult. I just don't know how to feel about it, I guess. Darunia is now available in the gallery. Is viewable in the gallery? Yeah. So guys, next time once played in Hyrule of... Ah, God, my neck. Oh, wow. Ah, sorry. Derailed my outro for a moment there. Started twisting my neck a little bit. Well, cracking it, I guess. So, next time on Hyrule Warriors Adventure Map, we're going to be going into the next missions. Um, I will be replaying this before the next episode. That seems a common theme that I will always be doing that at least once. Uh, there is always going to be more missions to do before the episodes begin. Uh, actually, I need to redo this one as well. Because apparently I didn't do it right. Oh yeah, I remember this. So yeah, I need to upgrade both Darunia and Ruto, and do both of those missions. So I'll do those before the beginning of the next episode. You can count on that. See you guys next time.